All right, now it is time to bring in Ruth Epstein with the Republican American Report. Ruth, good morning. Good morning, Marshall. How was your weekend? My weekend was busy, but good. Beautiful weather. Uh, can't knock it. Uh, the big story, obviously, this week is the uh, projected closing of the maternity ward at Sharon Hospital. Yep. Uh, there was a uh, webinar in which it was announced this week, and uh, after how many years of having babies there, uh, that, that service is going to end within the next 8 to 12 months. Um, I, uh, it's just financial. Uh, Dr. Mark Herko, the uh, uh, CEO, um, gave a, a presentation, and it's basically because of the finances and the low birth uh, delivery r- rates there. Um, I, I've spoken to some people over the weekend who are obviously very upset, and uh, I'm sure we'll be hearing more from those op- opponents. That happened here, yeah. As a matter of fact, those people are, are forming once again a, a Save the Sharon Hospital, and uh, I, I about, do, yeah, I wondered about that. I yeah. w- and I do believe that they're going to go to the state, and uh, I think it, it. Well, the one thing about this, if the state is actually going to listen and see what happens, uh, all the all the truth and details come out. If it's true that there's only one baby being born, uh, basically a day, mm-hmm. uh, um, that is a financial strain on the hospital. But it's also true that uh, a full-service hospital is a great thing to have in an area that's trying to attract more families to live in it. True, true. And, and um, um, you know, we've seen letters to the editor and people talking uh, about the um, uh, ha- mothers having to really travel to deliver babies. And in this area, it's not easy on uh, bad weather and, and emergency uh, deliveries. So um, we haven't heard the end of this yet. That's for sure. No, and they want to put a lot of effort into recruiting new doctors, and that's that's also going to be a very, very hard thing to do up here, especially with the, the housing the way it is now. Absolutely. And I, and Dr. Herco did say, you know, rural attracting uh, primary care doctors to the region, which is one of their main aims, um, is very difficult. Uh, the docs want to be near all the specialists in, in the big cities, and um, they don't want to be on call the way our doctors were way back when, when... You'd call them in the middle of the night, and out they'd come. So um, it's a real dilemma. It's a real dilemma, but it, uh, it's, it's very tough for the region. And, so, and, now we, there's, and now there's people in Kent that are not too happy with the idea to, turn, to change the senior citizen's office into, into absolutely, a... Absolutely, into a telehealth yeah. office. And that's, we haven't heard the end of that either. Uh, that's um, New Vance's idea to put that in the senior center. And the town is trying to uh, really spruce up and, and increase the activities there, so uh, I'm not sure that's going to fly either. Uh, plus, there are some lease uh, questions about that. Yeah. Um, we were out this weekend at the marches for uh, safe and legal abortions and women's health care. Yeah, was they were on in Kent, one Salisbury, right? Right, yeah, and very well attended, both of them. Yeah, and, about uh, 600, six or 700 people between the two of them. Yeah, 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 and a lot of good speakers and a lot of energy, and um, uh, you know, uh, this northwest corner is very active when it comes to these types of issues. And uh, it was very interesting. Uh, there were like you know two two fifty to three hundred in Salisbury, and there were about five uh, women on the sidelines who were in opposite uh, uh, agreement. You know, had opposite beliefs. So um, it was an interesting. Uh, logistics at the at the green on Saturday. Um, j- there's a f- there are free vax clinics going on, yep. and I took part in one on Friday night. It was great up at the high school um, for all the vaccines, but especially for those needing um, the booster. If you're 65 or over and have um, compromised immunity, um, these clinics are great. You walk in, no appointments necessary. Just hand them your card and. Um, we had a grand old time. It was like old home week with everybody uh, <laughs> visiting while they, they waited. So um, they're coming again on uh, the 15th and the 29th between 3 and 7. This is Griffin Hospital. And uh, if you want your booster and you've had the six-month uh, delay, um, or six-month, you know. In between, yeah. In between, um, I would highly recommend it. Um, busy week, Marshall. Yeah. We have our three trifectas tonight. We've got Canaan Board of Selectmen, Salisbury Board of Selectmen, and Region 1. 
Um, tomorrow we have Cornwall Board of Selectmen, and come this weekend, we're really packed in. We have um, the Artisan Market on the Green in um, on, on the Green, and also at in Chihuahua. Chihuahua, right? Yep. In, uh, in Salisbury, we have um, the um, Spoon. What is it called? Spoon something at the Sharon. Um, Spoon River at yep. the Sharon Cemetery, which is great, uh, between the Historical between Society and Sharon Playhouse, and they bring out costumed actors and do these vignettes, which is absolutely terrific. The last time was just wonderful. And then Steve Katz from Blood, Sweat, and Tears is going to be giving a concert down here in Kent at 5 o'clock next Saturday. Ten bucks and St. Andrew's Church, and come and enjoy it. And Brewski Fest is and also on Brewski Fest on, on the 10th on yeah. Sunday up at... Uh, ski jumps. So, so, so it's going to be the uh, it's going to be the show at uh, Chawala at Whiteheart and Brewski Fest replacing the Salisbury Fall Festival this year. Right. Yep. No fall festival, but um, hopefully the weather will hold. There was talk of rain, but I'm sure people will still come out. That's exactly right. Yeah, but busy times. Um, I just got a quick mention of the 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 uh, FOI complaint in Falls Village, which was very strange. That somebody sent in a. a, a a complaint, and it turns out the name on there was fake. Um, and Henry Todd, the first selectman, is just he's livid and wants to get to the bottom of this. This, this is all dealing with the affordable housing yeah. project. So. Anyway, things are happening in the northwest corner. I don't think that FOI complaint will go very far. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think you're right. All right, yeah. Ruth. All right, Marshall. Have a good week. We'll speak to you next Monday. Take care. Bye-bye. Ruth Epstein from the Republican American, rep-am.com on the web.